everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create. And today I'm gonna to share with you my newly completed six and a half by eight and a half mini album featuring one of Stamperia's newest releases, Oriental Garden. I'm just really loving this paper. Um, I, you know, it took me a little while to get my uh, design flow going, but once I did, I'm just really happy with the way this album turned out. I wanna remind you that the tutorials to make this are also available. So if you click the um, the just the more button or show more button just below your video screen, you will see um, all the materials used in this album with links to our store. And then if you continue to scroll down, you'll see the cut list for this album. So I'm very proud of it. I'm happy to be sharing this with you today. So I'm going to go over some of what's going on in the front so you have some ideas. And then we'll walk through the rest of it. So here on the front, um, I have featured a butterfly and this butterfly comes from uh, a Prima collection that I had. These are 49 in market flowers and uh, they're not cherry blossoms, but they really made me think of cherry blossoms and that's why I liked it. And I thought it went really well with the paper here itself. Right here you'll see I featured some of these flatback pearls. These are the Graphic 45 matte flatback pearls and they're gold, but they're they're almost like a bronze gold, so they're very deep and rich, and I think they just work perfectly with this collection. So that's the front. This is a cut apart, matted, and then it's just on this band, and the band is what's holding the book closed. And then here, um, I've got a nice little um, element. This is a, um, a dragonfly, and if you purchase the paper from us, we're gonna include a couple coordinating um, charms, uh, that will work well with the collection, and that's going to be one of them. Oops, I almost dropped my book. And here's the back. It's a nice and simple. Uh, this is one of the cut aparts. The cut aparts are a little bit bigger, and I just scaled the circle down a little bit. I thought it looked a little better with the size of the album. And this is a cut apart right here, just backed on black cardstock. Okay. And then this is not something I always do, but I went ahead and made a closure for the book so that it'll stay closed. And it also keeps the cover from dropping down because the book's not quite full yet. I normally store my books on end like this so that they're on display at all times. What I find is if you lay them down and people only see the back, they're, they don't feel compelled to pick them up. If you store them on their side, it's really hard for people to walk by these. They pick them up and they want to see what's inside. And that's kind of the whole idea behind an album, right? Is to share your photos. So... I um, So that's why I'm comfortable putting lots of layers on the front. I never lay my books down. Okay, so here's the inside, and I want to point out these, um, these two die-cut ends. This is a large pass-through, so it's like a really large belly band, but I put a line of glue down the middle to keep, um, to keep my ephemera from sliding across to both sides. So what you wind up with is a pocket on either side and it's just the right size to hold the cut apart ephemeras that come as part of the collection. So these are um, three and a half, just over three and a half by five and a half. That's the size of the Stamperia ephemera, which is a little bit smaller than Graphic 45, but you could easily um, get a three, two, a three by three in here with some journaling and you could do a, small, a slightly trimmed down four by six. So you could get four photos just between these two and do some journaling on the back. And then you could easily get a four by six over here or even a five by seven. This panel, the outside panel is a six and a half by eight and a half. So you could put a very large photo here, okay? And then these open up to the left and right. And because I didn't feature ephemera cards, I just cut these to size and these are four by six, four by six. So you can easily get three photos here. Two, four, you know, two, a, a four by four, a four by six and a four by four. Or some combination thereof okay and this I would just leave inside that pocket is a large photo mat and this photo mat is five and seven eighths by eight inches five and seven eighths by eight inches so you could easily get um, a nice large four by six on here and if you trimmed it down a little bit you could get a four by five and a four by four and you can do decorate both sides okay here is page two. Page two is a gatefold feature and I've die cut these side pockets and it's holding this very large card for lots of photo space. So you can get at least three photos in here, possibly more, and then add photos on the back or do some journaling on the back. 
Additionally, you could actually just slide a photo right into these pockets if you wanted. Um, and in fact, you could use the photo to keep it closed. These open up and these panels are four by six. They're finished four by six, so you can get two four by six. And then I wouldn't cover this whole thing. I think I would be tempted to put a photo down here um, like so and or like so and keep the um, dragonfly ex exposed. Okay, that is how that closes. And this is a cut apart, just double layered. Here are more of those flat back pearls, which I, re I really like. I'm really liking the way they turned out with this collection. This opens to the right and then to the left. And then here we have a very deep pocket. This pocket is as deep as this card. It's a little bit, it's not quite as, um, uh, oh, actually it does fit. So it's almost eight inches. So you probably have seven and a half inches deep here. And then it's six and a half inches wide. Okay, I mean, not six and a half, six inches wide and about seven and a half inches deep. And this flap here, before I trimmed it out, was a six by six. So you could easily get a four by six on here and here, like so. And that would make actually a very pretty photo map location. And another photo here. Okay. And then another large photo mat. And then now we're on to page four. Page four and five are mirrors. They're decorated different, but it's the same flap design. So this is a gatefold. And then inside the gatefold is uh, just a, a belly band that's holding these cards in place. So you can do journaling in here. You can add memorabilia in here and then I've left these cut aparts open-ended so you could slightly you could slide your photo behind them and oops I did this one upside down <laughs> and you could get four by six on either one of these the same thing here these are two four by six flaps with a belly band in between lovely and then here's another insert And then we've got that same design. We're starting to repeat the designs where we've got a flap and a very large pocket here. And I've just put a piece of ephemera in here, but you could put a very large photo mat inside of here or another piece of memorabilia, some tickets, an invitation, a card, you know, something from the hotel you stayed at, could be anything. And this is another large card format. Um, so you could put photos on either side and on the back. And then this is a gatefold that opens up left and right. More of the flat back pearls. Oh, and let's take out this last photo mat. It's upside down, there we go. And then here is page eight. And page eight is just like page one. So it opens to the, to the right and to the left. These are four by six panels. So you can put photos on both sides. And then again, we've got these this large uh, like belly band pocket that's holding two card fold, bifold um, cards for additional photos or memorabilia. Sorry, I'm having a little hard time getting that in. It's snug there. There you go, it fits. It was just a little snug. Here I featured um, some ribbon that I had in my stash. It's a Mayart's ribbon, which I think is really pretty. Um, another cut apart here and then on the back side this is the flap that holds the book closed I just lined both sides and if you have the um, book binding tape I went ahead and put book binding on both parts of the flap here where the hinges are because I know it's going to go back and forth and get a lot of um, wear and tear so I just went ahead and lined it and covered it with these papers so that is um, the latest album I hope you guys enjoyed um, I used three packs of paper to complete this and I, I'm gonna come back in just a minute and show you what's left over. Okay, I had to run to the other room to get um, what's left. So I also wanna share with you kind of something I do to organize. So as I'm working on projects, I use these bins and so all the products associated to this build are in the bin, which helps me stay organized. So these are the Graphic 45 Flatback Pearls. So you can see there's quite a bit left over um, to use on another project. And then here's what's left over of the paper, which is not a lot. <laughs> 
So in here is just a bifold that I created to capture all my small scraps. I had these two very or three very large cut aparts because this was uh, three packs and I really liked these but they were just too big to, they're about 11 inches long it was just too big to use in my album I'll figure something out to do with those I have three partial strips that are 12 inches long and then one two three four four 12 by 12 that I had didn't cut into at all and then one of these cut apart sheets. Um, so I, I used uh, more than two and a half packs um, to get this completed, but you do wind up with some leftovers, um, enough to do some cards. But again, I, I really had a hard time making two packs stretch because I needed some larger size pieces. Um, you can do it, you'll just have to do a lot more piecing. All right, and I noticed that I got in here, and then here's some of my cut aparts left that I didn't use. I got in here without uh, my other embellishments. Be right back. All right, and then here's the rest of the embellishments. So this is a Garden Seeds in Poppy uh, from 49 to Market. Those are the flowers I used, and these are the butterflies. And then here's the flatback pearl. So everything else aside from these was either from my stash or is paper. So thanks everybody for tuning in. I hope you enjoy the album. I'm going to put that front and center again. Here you go. Uh, I really enjoy putting this together. I do think you could manage with two packs, but you really wouldn't be able to cover any of your inserts. Maybe just a one inch strip on each side. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, now I'm off to actually go start working on Make-A-Wish. So um, I'll see you guys soon. Enjoy.